We will see how to create an infinite loop in the Java programming language. We will simply require the three things here a notepad file for writing our Java code, a command prompt for executing our Java code, and the Java development kit and the Java runtime environment, which we have to download from the Oracle website. And I will mention the link in the description of this video, which through which it will be easier for you to download the Java development kit and the Java runtime environment. Basically, there are three loops in the Java programming language for loop, while loop, do while loop. And I will be using the for loop for creating an infinite loop in the Java program. First of all, I will create the class named class IL and I will create an in constructor. and after that i will create a for loop and in that i will write a condition which will never stop integer i equals to zero integer then i is greater than and equal to minus one then i plus plus so our for loop is ready and i will create another for loop which will be used for printing the numbers integer x equals to 0 x plus plus and I will simply print the variable x for printing our numbers now we will create another class and we will write a main method in that and we will create an object of the class IL as new IL now our code is ready and the first for loop will create an infinite loop and the second for loop will print the numbers we will save our code as infinite loop dot java because the this is the class which is containing the main method our program has been saved and we will simply compile and execute our program We will compile our program as java c infinite loop dot java and we will execute our code as java infinite loop. So our code has been compiled without any errors. We will execute our code as java infinite loop. We can see that our code has been started executing and it will never stop until we press the control C button to stop the execution of this code or we'll press the close button of the command prompt for closing this so in this way we can create an infinite loop in the Java programming language so thanks for watching my today's video